الطواب أحل المغفرة رب لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك اللهم لا أحسي ثناء عليك أنت كما أصنيت على نفسك My dear brothers, friends, respected elders, sisters, children, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Tamam tarif Allah ke liye hai, mere dosto. Insan tarif ke laik nahi hai. Allah ki marzi hoti hai. جس سے چاہتے ہیں کام لے لیتے ہیں اور پھر یہ اللہ ہی کا بڑا پن ہوتا ہے کہ لوگوں کے سامنے اپنے بندوں کی اچھائیاں ظاہر کرنا شروع کر دیتے ہیں کہ لوگ لوگوں کے بارے میں کہنا شروع کر دیتے ہیں کہ دیکھو کتنا اچھا آدمی ہے حالانکہ لا حول ولا قوت الا باللہ اللہ فرما رہے ہیں نیکی کرو گے تو ہماری مرضی سے کرو گے برائی سے بچو گے تو ہماری مرضی سے بچو گے جب نیکی کرتے ہو تو ہماری مرضی سے کرتے ہو جب برائی کرتے ہو تو اپنے نفس کی گندگی کی وجہ سے کرتے ہو تو یہ اللہ کا احسان ہے میں وہاں بیٹھ کے ابھی یہی سوچ رہا تھا جب میرے پیارے عزیز شیخ نومان فرما رہے تھے اور بات کر رہے تھے نہیں نہیں انگریزی میں بیٹھ جو بس اب انگریزی نہیں بولی جائے گی بھائی اردو ہماری زبان ہے اور آپ یہاں آگئے اس کا مطلب یہ تھوڑی کہ اردو گھر چھوڑا ہے تو ایزا ہے وہ سینگ زبان خلق کو نکتارہ خدا سمجھو whatever you people would want ultimately that is going to happen as simple as that so I remember the times when Slowly and gradually, my life was changing. So I used to feel, it used to be very difficult for me to wear a cap on my head. And I used to feel strange, you know, wearing a cap on my head. It used to feel very strange to have my shalwar above my ankles. I used to feel very strange because I was a pop star. A pop icon, so to say. I've met so many people in this gathering who had actually attended my concerts then. So initially it was difficult. And I remember every time I would walk like this, I, I, could, hear, I could hear people giggling behind me. You know, saying, what's wrong with this guy? Has he lost it? Is he mad? I think he's confused. I think he's crazy. So let me tell you, my sisters and my brothers, they were right. I was a confused man. I was a confused man. Why? Because everywhere, wherever I would go, everybody would tell me, if you want to be successful, you have to make more money. You have to have a good job. You have to have a good business. You have to be a famous man. You have to have a position. If you have all these things, you're a successful man. And every time I would go and sit, Allah walon ke paas ja kar baitta tha, to wo kehte the, dekho, Allah ke nabi farma rahe hain, akal mand wo hai, jo marne se pehle marne ki tiyari kar le. Kis ki baat manu main? Logon ki baat manu, ke Allah ke nabi ki baat manu, Allah ke nabi se aisa taaluk to tha nahi. Allah rabu lizzat se us kisam ka taaluk to tha nahi. تو میں کنفیوز ہو جاتا تھا ادھر جاؤں کے ادھر جاؤں کے ادھر جاؤں کے ادھر جاؤں پھر مجھے مولانا تارک جمیل نے ایک دفعہ یہ بات کہی انہوں نے کہا دیکھو جنید بات یہ ہے ایکچولی وٹ یور ڈوئنگ ایز یور ڈوئنگ بزنس تم اللہ سے معاملہ کر رہے ہو 
یو ار ڈوئنگ یور معاملہ وتھ اللہ رب العزت اللہ رب العزت ڈو یو ہیو اینی ائیڈیا ہو ہی از سو آئی سیڈ یس آئی نو ہو ہی ہو ہی از ہی از کریٹڈ اس ہی از کریٹڈ دی انٹائر یونیورس بیسیکلی دیٹس ایٹ سیز نو 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 دیس مچ مور ٹو دیٹ دیس مچ مور ٹو دیٹ Do you know, Do you know who, who Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is? I said yes. He is our prophet. He is our beloved prophet. But basically, that's it. I say la ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. So I'm destined to go to paradise. Jannat to meri mil kiya the. Whether I pray or I don't pray, whether I lie or I don't lie, whether I take interest, I don't take interest, whether I speak the truth or I don't speak the truth, I am a, I am going to Jannah. Come what may. Isn't this Isn't exactly, this exactly what, what, what? Like exactly like? like, like, like don't we don't all we think, all like, think this? like this? At least I, I used, to used to think like this. तो मुझे मौलाना ने कहा तुम ये मामला अल्लाह से कर रहे हो और अल्लाह से जो मामला करता है वो कभी नाउमीद नहीं होता। थोड़ा सा जम जाओ जुनेद, थोड़ा सा जम जाओ, थोड़ी हिम्मत कर लो। جو اللہ کے لیے چھوڑو گے whatever you will leave for Allah Allah is going to return it to you back with a dividend I, I, I still wouldn't believe him I still wouldn't believe him so ultimately Allah Rabbul Lizzat help me and that is basically because of your prayers inshallah we'll keep talking about it Right now, right now I want, I want to read, to read a few nasheeds and, uh, and, uh, and I will and also, also share my experiences, my experiences with you because, because I have seen, seen the two sides, sides of the road, road my dear my friends. friends. <laughs> what what dunya, dunya have you have seen? seen? The kind of, the kind dunya, of dunya that I have I seen. seen. You can't, you can't even, even imagine, imagine what all I have seen in this dunya and how frivolous I have found it. I will share all this experience with you as the evening goes inshallah. Okay. <clears throat> there is there is one of our elders. His name is Maulana Sayyid Ahmed Khan. He is no more in this world. हमारे तबलीग के बड़े बुजुर्गों में से थे. A lot of people used to say. ان کی عادتیں صحابہ کرام سے اتنی ملتی تھیں as if one of the صحابہs was left behind 14 year, 100 years ago that is the way مرا سید عمد خان صاحب was I saw him once he was giving a bayan in مدنی مسجد our مرکز in Karachi you know there was a huge gathering of people and he was sitting far behind me and I was looking at him then he left for Medina and that's, and that's where he expired. expired. So, the so the first time, time I, went I went for Hajj, for Hajj I told a friend of mine, of mine I want to I go and see the grave of Maulana Sayyid Ahmad Khan. Khan. So, so I was, I was told, told that Alhamdulillah he is in Jannat al Baqi and where, where, where the grave of Hazrat Usman is, and who is, it's straight in the line and you'll be able to find it. So I went with a friend of mine to his grave. We went there, we said our Fatiha. I thought, you know what a lucky man, you know, to have a grave in Jannat al-Baqi, you know, with all the Sahaba Karam and, you know, the family of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what a lucky man. So as I was coming back, his grandson met me and this friend of mine told this grandson of Murana Sayyid who I was and he was very happy to meet me and he was very impressed and he said, you have to come to my house, I will give you one thing of Mawlana which, which Maulana always, always used, to used to recite every time, every time he would come, come to Medina. So, so I was quite was excited. excited. I said, I said okay, okay, I will I come, come with you. With you. So, so we went we to his house. house. My, dear My dear sisters, sisters this, is this is especially for you, for you to listen to. Listen when, to I when I went to, to Maulana Sayyid Ahmad Khan's house, Maulana had actually made his house of clay. The house was of clay, just the way Sahaba used to have it.